Hello guys, Grasver here, back for another Terraria terraforming video. As you can see, I made this area so I can actually, you know, sleep the night away, but, um, today, we are going to be working more on this area, right around here. I might move this up. Probably not, but maybe. Um, and I'm not doing anything with this. This is just gonna be an eyesore on the map. So, I'll just get my... I was looking at... Um, trying to find some paintings. Darn it. I was, like, just barely on the right side of the world, so it sent me to the left side. Okay, so as you can see, this is what we did last time, and there's just this gigantic dirt stretch right here. It looks quite ugly, and I do not want to keep it there. Plus, I need to get this so we can get the fairies. I'll just clear that out. So, I also might come over here. I'm probably definitely gonna, like, ag. I'm too fast. Um, yeah, like, come here. And, like, change this so it's not actually in the side of a mountain like I'm doing right now. Okay, I just wanted to check if I could mine that, um, before I defeated Skeletron. Which, um, I think is possible in-game, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I can't break that one. I think you can only break walls after, um, you defeat Skeletron. So. Yeah. So now this already looks nicer. Even though there's literally a giant pit trap right here. <gasps> corruption. No. No corruption. You're not allowed. I need to get, get corruption. The corruption is annoying. Very annoying. Since it keeps sprouting up, and infection spread is disabled, so... I'll just real quick take down these trees, and then I'll probably cut to a time-lapse of me terraforming, like usual. So... Yeah, I think... I'll probably just make a... Oh my god. That was complete RNG. I didn't plant that. That's crazy. That's so rare. Okay, but I'm going to record this time lapse now. And I'll see you guys after that.
Okay guys, I'm back, and now this looks much nicer. I mean, there aren't any trees or bushes or whatever I'm gonna put in here yet, but they... or, but they aren't the point. This is looking pretty good, and I got my two fairy summoners in here, so that's nice. I'm, and these are treasured because they won't respawn or whatever. They can't, they're naturally generated, which means that they can't be, um, found, like, you can't pick one up and place it down. It's completely natural, you would have to, like, use T-Edit, which I don't have or know how to use. Now the dungeon, even though I should probably get some contaminating up, so I can actually get rid of the corruption down here. Ooh. Die, corruption. Die. Even though that really won't get anything. Now let's go down into the dungeon and see if there's going to be any corruption music or anything. Oh, nice. That's a nice long fall. Oh, that was a beautiful drop. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Terraria skydiver now. Oops. That wasn't intended. Bonk, bonk. Um... Whoa! I fell! So scary! Yes. It very much is. Okay. Enough doing that. I need to now opposite skydive. I need to teleport dive. But I am just going to clear out a bunch of this corruption, because it's right next to the dungeon. Who wants that? Not me. I'm betting that you don't want it either. Even though I am eventually going to make this area corruption. It won't be right now. In swamp. Okay, now that's there. Or destroyed or whatever. I'm just gonna come down here. And destroy more. Ah. I keep thinking that I'm playing single player, so I'm not commentating. Well, I am technically playing single player, I mean... Slash players. It's just me. So I am playing single player, but I don't think that I'm recording. So... Yeah. Did you guys even see that I had, um, Skyblock videos out at one point? I really didn't like their quality very much, so I just scrapped them and took them off the platform, so they're not on YouTube anymore. Which is fine with me, but um, you guys might want to watch me play it. So, just tell me in the, in the comments section. Time to find all the corruption. Or all the desert 
something. Why am I- I keep thinking that I'm not recording, which is why I'm not commentating. But, you know, I want to commentate so I actually have decent content. And then I just forget. I wish there was a button in, um, journey mode. Even if you had to, like, do something to get it. Like, so you could, um... Clear all corruption. That would be really nice. I would do, like, anything for that. <laughs> that would be very nice. And then you would have corruption spread off, and... Or... Evil spread off. As it's correct term is. But, yeah guys, I don't think I'm gonna keep doing that, because this is boring. Oh, but there's a cave right here. I, I don't want to, like, go around digging holes to find all the corruption. That's so boring. Like, I could spend a long time on that and still not be done. Which is definitely annoying. And the thing that's annoying is that the contaminator doesn't get everything. So someday I'm like gonna accidentally have corruption spread on and it's gonna be like hard mode or something. And then I'm gonna get like totally corrupted. It would be the worst. Let's do this down here. Any corruption. Corruption. You down here? Not there. Um, but you in here? Um. There. Um, and now I can come up here, and- oh hey, there's a chest down there. Nope, nothing good. Just wanted to see if there was anything, like, really good there. Wait. Oh hey, I'm in a part that doesn't have, like, any holes. Time to go mining, I guess. I know, I said that I would stop doing this, and this is probably really boring to watch. So, I'll just finish this little area here. And then, I can go on to something more interesting, but I don't know what I really want to do. Probably just moving the dungeon up further. So it's not like, completely in the corruption. Bonk. And let's go. Um, yeah. I might just come down this hole too, because it's right next to the dungeon. And is therefore going to be annoying. Oh my god, of course there's this catacombs thing. That's what I thought that there would be, because... There's corruption still under the dungeon. So... I thought that this would be why. Is there seriously just a cave right there? Yeah. That's weird. Oh my... I said I would stop here and this is what it's coming to. It's becoming a never-ending project. A never-ending project. And I should probably get, like, right here. So there's not that there. One thing I love about 1.4 is the, um, soaring insignia. I can actually fly forever without any breaks, and it's just like, yay, I'm finally free, I'm finally able to be a bird, and fly, fly away. 
Okay. But that is going to be the last, currently, of the corruption deleting. Um... So... I guess I should actually fight Skeletron. So I can... actually... do that. Oh no! Wait, I'm just gonna go off god mode real quick. This is gonna be a really hard fight. I mean, really hard. I mean, I'm even on master mode. This is a really hard fight. He went out with a bang. Quite literally. Nice. Relic? Will I get it? Will I get it? Darn it. I didn't get Chippy's couch. Sad. Okay. Time for day. Yeah, that's annoying at night. Now, I'm probably going to get the Clothier to spawn in. <laughs> Which is stupid. Clothier still sounds like the wrong pronunciation to me, even though it is the correct pronunciation. I'm pretty sure you can look it up and it's, it's Clothier. I just whistled. Like, I'm pretty sure, and then whistle. So, that's fun. Let's get the... I just need to, um, keep this dungeon here. Because otherwise I can't do the lunatic cultists, even though this isn't a playthrough. It would still be fun for you guys to watch, I guess. Even though I have the zenith. And a sub-dolphin machine gun. Or space dolphin machine gun, or whatever it is. It's a... Uh... SDMG. I don't know what the S stands for. Sadly... Yes, it stands for sadly. Sadly, I don't know what the thing means. I'll just bring that, like, right there. This is gonna be a more grand one. How far out is it from this wall? I just need to know. 32 blocks. So, right there. Four, there. Right there, perfect. And then... You can break whenever you want. Thank you. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna time-lapse this, because this is gonna be probably pretty boring to watch. So I'm just gonna start the time lapse here because this is definitely going to be pretty boring to watch since I have to move this up there and I need to bring the tunnel all the way up and make the, the big long walkway thing. So, yeah, guys, I will see you soon.
hello guys, I'm back, and I'm sorry for that, like, that was a 40 minute long time lapse. I mean, it was a 40 minute long clip, and if I go with anywhere over from times 8 speed up, then it gets all, like, it gets all jumpy and renders weird and stuff, and I don't really know how to fix that. Um, so you get to watch 10 minutes of me breaking and placing blocks if you want. Um, which I don't think I would watch all of that. That's why I put a card so you would know when the time lapse's end is. So, yeah guys, I have this pretty nice area in here where which leads down... Oops. To leads down to the dungeon. So that's pretty nice. And this is a pretty good area for the lunatic cultist sister, I guess. Um, I, I really, really like the wooden pillars, except these look a bit weird to me. I wish there was this, but sideways. Or horizontal, or whatever. And this is probably going to be, like, the end of the video, because... That was an insanely long time long. I'm sorry if any of you just decided to watch it and it was painful. Yeah. So, I am going to just, like, flatten this out, probably make this dirt real quick, and then I will call it a day. plans that I have to go do eventually. So, I'm just going to, I think it usually is like, um, blue brick is usually like, it just keeps going down until you can't see it anymore, which I just messed up. But I'll just fix that real quick. And then Yeah, um I'll just oops. That was a complete accident. I'll just fill this in with some dirt and grass and stuff. I think it would make sense if this was like a down slope. I don't know why, but I think that it would look good as a down slope. Or a slope that's going down. Um. So. Uh, yeah. So, wouldn't it just be fun to discover that your dungeon was on this side? So you're just walking up here like, oh nice, here's the dungeon, and then you come up, and it just looks like this, instead of that other version of it. It, sh it would just look so beautiful. Yes, I did say beautiful. Um, yeah. So, I'll just, like, stop it right there. Nice going warm. Um, and I will not put on that critter, um, that critter accessory so I don't damage critters. That would, like, make me go mad because, because, you know, when they just come and walk in. Oh, actually, I should get the combat guide for my villagers. Combat manual or whatever it is. Yeah, advanced combat techniques. Now all that my villagers, yep, I have so many villagers, um, now they all are stronger. So, that's nice to know. And I'm just gonna fix this part up. And then I'm going to go, because this is a very long video. 
compared to my other terraforming ones. So, yeah guys, um, I'll just see you back at spawn. Okay guys, I'm back at spawn to say goodbye because this has been a really long video. I accidentally just hit the Windows button. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you guys are gonna have and or are <laughs> and or are having a good day, I guess. Um, if you really liked this video, then you could like and maybe subscribe. And if you didn't like this video, then tell me why in the comments below. So guys, I'll see you all. Wait, I forgot to say the most important thing. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I'll see you later.